Do you want to know why the pros are so good, hit the ball so fantastic, so consistent, and why the rest of us struggle? Well, in this next video, I'm going to show you two great keys and one really easy golf drill you can practice to really improve your golf game. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from Hitting It Solid here. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the reasons why the pros hit the ball so well and why the rest of us really struggle to become really consistent. And there's really, there's a couple of real keys I'm gonna show you and one really fantastic drill that can show you how to get that same feel and get a lot more consistent in your ball striking. So before we get on to the video, please make sure you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. More subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and produce more great content so we can all keep improving together. So, so why are the pros so good at what they do? Well, I'm gonna take you through an example of what a typical pro backswing and downswing looks like compared to what an amateur does. So we can just first understand why they're so good at what they do. Now typically, and I'll just set up to a ball to demonstrate, in a, in a really good backswing from a professional, as they get to the top, typically that rear leg will straighten a bit as they're, they're moving the club back. And also what you'll find is the butt end of the club well, the club will go up a lot steeper. The butt end of the club will typically be pointing inside between the toe line of your feet and the golf ball. You won't normally see it like that or anywhere crazy like that or anything. It'll typically be pointing down in that sort of gap, usually right around here. So it might be at the ball or just inside the ball. And that back leg will straighten as there's there and the hips will open anywhere from sort of 30 to 45 degrees as they turn their shoulders so that's typically what a professional's backswing will look like now if you compare that to a lot of amateurs some of them are not too bad with their backswings but quite often what they'll do is they'll get very flat as they take a club away and this butt end of the club be pointing way out there somewhere. Now also maybe retain too much knee flex as well. That's another issue I see. And the other issue might be coming up across the line like so, where the butt end of the club is almost way back behind them as well. So that's typically what a poor backswing will look like in an amateur. Now when it comes to the downswing, this is a really big difference where the pros really stand out. So typically what you'll see happen as they start down they'll increase the flex in that rear leg in particular the rear leg as they apply pressure to the front one it'll it'll flex more as well but in particular they get a lot more flex in that rear leg and at the same time as that flex happens the shaft will really shallow really drop like this and the butt end of this club will end up be pointing past the golf ball on the other side of the golf ball. And that's what they're really good at, shallowing the club face and getting it down on a really good plane, which is why they're so consistent. And what else will happen? The hips will open up. So as they get to the top, as they squat down, their hips will open and they'll get into that really good impact and the hips will open anywhere from again 30 to 45 degrees giving their arms and that room to come through and hit the golf ball so with amateurs in their downswing again it's quite the opposite as they come down the butt end of this club quite often if they start the downswing with their arms their upper body it'll come down really steep and you'll see the butt end will point somewhere around here and the club will come down really steep they won't increase that knee flex and they usually cut across the golf ball which results in a lot of slices and pulls and a lot of inconsistency and quite often they don't get those hips to open enough. The hips will sort of stay more shut which doesn't give their arms and hands a lot of room to bring that golf club down through on a really good plane so it's really a key getting that 
the flex in those knees to really increase and that's what a lot of those pros look like in their downswing so I'm going to show you a great drill and this is something you can practice just at home in your backyard that can really improve your golf swing so what we're going to do I'll show you this from down the line also show it face on so you get a couple of different views of it as we sit up to the ball so what we're going to do, we're going to focus on the downswing because this is the real key area and that's probably the area that a lot of golfers find the most challenging. As we get to the top, and so you'll see as per the original demonstration that, that rear leg will get a bit, bit straighter. Now as we go down, what I want you to do is increase that knee flex, but focus on, and this is really key, focus on keeping those hands holding the club and the arms really just doing nothing just letting them sit there and really focus on just moving the lower body and really opening really squatting and opening those lower hips and what you'll what you'll find will happen as I start the downswing watch what happens I'm just going to leave my arms my hands just holding the club very loosely like this not doing much at all as I squat Watch what happens to the club, it just shallows out automatically just by not thinking about the, the hands and the arms, just leaving them there and by moving, focusing on leave, moving that lower body first in that downswing automatically shallows out the club and you get into this great position and you downswing to hit the golf ball. This is what the pros just do so well. So here's one again, so we're going to go to the top. All I'm going to do is leave these hands and arms here. I'm going to squat, club shallows, then we rotate. Once again, get to the top, leave the hands and arms, rotate. And you get into that nice, get into that nice position where you can start hitting really solid golf shots. Now what I recommend doing is start off hitting really small shots first, so just doing little half swings. As we go there, sort of somewhere around here, leave the hands and arms, squatting and following through. Leaving those hands and arms, squatting and getting more knee flex, putting pressure into that lead foot. And you're getting a nice sort of balanced golf swing. So that's a great drill to practice, just getting into that position. Pausing this position here doing nothing with the hands and the arms, really squatting, letting the club shallow, rotate. Leaving hands and arms, squatting, letting it shallow, rotate through. And that's a great drill to practice. It will really help out your ball striking. So give that a try. If there are any questions or comments about that, please post them below. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, Please um, subscribe to the channel. I really want to keep on growing this channel and keep producing fantastic videos. Now below this video you see a couple of links to some additional golf instruction that I know will really help you out. So make sure you check that out. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.